I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be designing this pine cone. Oh yeah, lovely pine cone. So grab your choice of art making mediums to draw with and to color with, and join me in creating this lovely pine cone. And for more full art tutorials using a ton of different art making mediums, if you really want to learn how to use like oil pastels and watercolors and pencil crayons, then head on over to artastickids.com. Link below in the description of this video. Uh, head on over to artastickids.com. You're gonna find a ton of different resources there. I got some free lessons up there. I got a cool online form you can join. You can chat with me there. Um, and I also have a sweet membership that has a very low monthly price where you can access hundreds, a huge on-demand library of all my full art lesson tutorials, huge art lessons. So check it out at artastickids.com. And that being said, join me in drawing this lovely pine cone. Let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by artastickids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. All right, so we're going to be drawing a super cute pine cone. Kind of keeping the forest theme that we kind of have going on. So here we go. We're gonna do a nice little branch coming out. Whoosh. Bring it back in for a little point. And maybe we'll do a nice little, eh, maybe a third one. Yeah, why not? Give it some character. All right, I'm gonna add some leaves on these two, but on the third, I'm gonna have my little pine cone friend coming down, so let's do that. Add some texture in the leaves. And let's just draw a nice little stem coming down with little rectangle off that third branch. Okay, let's make it a, well, very wide sort of pine cone. And we'll add some curving lines across. And now we're gonna do that again. Add some curving lines across. And we're just gonna keep repeating that. making it smaller and smaller and narrower and narrower until we get to the bottom here. We'll end it in a point. All right, my pinecone friend, you need a face. All right, I'm gonna draw one eye on one side and one eye on the other with some circles. Don't worry if you got some other lines coming up in there because it's mostly gonna be black. I'm gonna draw one big circle one small circle in each eye. And then we're gonna color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those circles white, and that's gonna cover up some of the other little lines that kind of popped up in there. No worries, we just go with the flow. It's always a creative way to hide other marks that we don't necessarily want. You just gotta problem solve it, and that's the cool thing about art. It's all about solving problems. Kinda of like math. Okay, between the eyes, we're gonna draw a straight little line. And then we're gonna connect that line with the letter U. And from one corner down to the bottom, we're gonna draw a curving line to make a tongue. And then we'll take our mark maker, whatever you're drawing with, and we're gonna color in the dark of the mouth, leaving your tongue nice and white. Beautiful. All right, let's add some character. Okay, let's add on some of these, a secondary line, and we're gonna make them two colors. We'll maybe alternate types of browns there. And we can add some dashed lines around the edge here, or some texture, and maybe it's blowing in the wind, so we'll have some little character movement lines there. And because it's doing that, we'll do that on the, maybe on the leaves here as well. Add some character. Okay. All right, once you're done, you are ready to color. Now again, we are using two different browns on this, so we're gonna do some dark browns and some light browns to make it visually interesting so it's not just some brown thing hanging in a tree. Want a little bit of character. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in some of these dark brown areas first, just doing the narrow stripes and the rest of it I'm gonna do 
lighter. And of course you can draw, or sorry, color in with anything that you would like. It's really up to you. Anything you want to use to color, you use what you got. Whether it's wax crayons or pastels. Use your favorite or try something new. Maybe you want to use more than one medium. If you don't have two markers that are brown, two different browns, then you can grab a wax crayon and a felt marker brown. That will give you two different types of browns. There's lots of ways to get where you're going. All right, so you can go ahead and color it in. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So tag me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.